Beneath the ice and silence of the Arctic, some of the deadliest predators from the Ice Age are still lying in wait. Saber-toothed cats, ancient wolves, and cave lions so fresh, scientists are considering cloning them. These are terrifying frozen creatures scientists are too afraid to defrost. Deep in the frozen wilds of Siberia, a creature straight out of prehistoric times was found curled up in the permafrost, a baby saber-toothed cat. It was discovered in 2020 near the Indigirka River, and despite being over 35,000 years old, the thing looked like it had only been dead a few days. It had thick fur, skin, claws, even its internal organs. It was all still there, and yes, the tiny sabers too. Scientists think it might have been buried in a landslide and flash frozen before decay could even start, and wasn't alone. Another cup, a few years younger, was found in the same region preserved the same eerie way. But nobody's rushing to thaw these little killers out. The deeper they look, the more they realize just how little they know about these ancient predators. There's something about seeing a baby version of something so dangerous, though, that just hits different. Like, it's, it's cute, but also very much not. In 2016, a gold miner working near Dawson City in Canada's Yukon Territory came across something in the permafrost, a perfectly preserved Ice Age wolf pup frozen for over 57,000 years. It wasn't a skeleton or a pile of fur and bones. It was an entire wolf with skin, fur, tiny claws, even some of its whiskers were still intact. Genetic testing showed that it came from an ancient extinct branch, older than modern gray wolves, and adapted to a world most humans wouldn't survive five minutes in. They think it died inside its den. Maybe the roof collapsed, maybe the ground shifted, but either way, something sealed it in tight and froze it solid before decay had even had a chance to start. And that kind of preservation doesn't happen unless the timing is perfect, and honestly, it's a little creepy how perfect it was. The more scientists studied it, the more questions they had about its species, about how it got so well preserved, about what else might be hiding under the ice just as intact. In the Siberian permafrost, scientists found two cave lion cubs so well preserved they didn't really look ancient, they looked recent. But these weren't house cats. They were baby versions of Panthera spile, aka the Eurasian cave lion. These things were massive, possibly larger than modern lions, and built for brute power. They hunted mammoths, they hunted bison, they hunted each other. One study found bones of a cave lion that had been gnawed on by another cave lion. The two frozen cubs, dubbed Sparta and Boris, are estimated to be around 30,000 years old. And scientists still don't know how they died exactly, but they're so well preserved, they're actually talking of cloning. Thing is, nobody's sure what kind of animal behavior you'd get out of these things if you actually defrosted them. Their instincts are 30,000 years old and hardwired for a world we don't live in anymore. So what could possibly go wrong there? In 2015, researchers in Siberia discovered a frozen woolly rhino calf that had been locked in ice for over 34,000 years. Its name is Sasha, and it's the only baby woolly rhino ever found. And it's not just bones. This thing still had skin, hair, a stubby little horn, even muscle tissue. But don't let the baby part fool you. Woolly rhinos were absolute tanks. Adults could weigh over two tons with horns up to three feet long. And you'd think for their size that they'd be slow too, but fossil evidence shows they could charge like a freight train. And they likely had tempers to match. These animals were built for war. War against the cold, against predators, and sometimes even against each other. Ancient cave art shows humans were just terrified of these things, often drawing the mid-charge or goring other animals or again locked in battle with each other. If anyone's thinking of cloning a few of these things, they better make sure the fencing is just really strong. You can't see them with the naked eye, but deloid rotifers are kind of freaky. These tiny aquatic creatures were found frozen in the Siberian permafrost, buried 11 feet deep and at least 24,000 years old. Scientists thawed them out and they started moving. So after two and a half ice ages, they just woke up. They also cloned themselves. Deloid rotifers reproduce through parthenogenesis, which means they've got no need for males. They can just endlessly self-copy, and they don't just survive cold. They can endure radiation, starvation, dehydration, even the vacuum of space. Their bodies
bodies will just shut down but stay preserved. And then when conditions are right, they kind of reboot. Now scientists are wondering how long they can actually last and how many more are still down there, dormant, waiting. In the icy ground of Siberia, scientists have dug up baby mammoths so perfectly preserved they still have eyelashes. One of the most famous is Layuba, found in 2007 by a reindeer herder. She's around 42,000 years old, but she still has skin, fur, internal organs, even the milk from her mother is still inside her stomach. Another calf, Yuka, was found with strange cut marks on her bones, like something or someone had been trying to carve her up. Could have been ancient human butchering, attacks from other predators, but the truth is nobody knows exactly what happened. Every time one of these calves gets pulled from the permafrost though, it cranks up the conversation about cloning, but even if they could bring one of these things back, should they? Once again in Siberia and Alaska, scientists have found ancient bison that are so well preserved they still had red in their veins. One of the best examples was discovered in 1979, a frozen bison they named Blue Babe because of this bluish tint from the minerals in the soil. The thing had muscle, skin, even visible wounds. It had clearly been killed by something and then it froze before it could rot. But here's something pretty cool. These mummified bison showed signs of being stalked and eaten by predators that do not exist anymore. Deep claw marks, crushed vertebrae, and punctures that match the bite force of predators that have been extinct for a very, very long time. And scientists haven't just found one, there are multiple ancient bison mummies turning up as the permafrost melts, and each one paints a clear picture of this brutal predatory world buried under the ice. They're also keeping samples for cloning research potentially, so if you ever wanted to see a prehistoric beast brought back from the dead, they are kind of working on it. In Yukon, Canada, buried in the permafrost, scientists uncovered the frozen remains of Ice Age horses that once galloped across the tundra in massive herds. Obviously, they weren't like today's horses. They were stockier, hairier, adapted to survive in some of the harshest conditions Earth has ever seen. One foal, perfectly preserved, was found in a gold mine in 2018, still covered in reddish brown fur, hooves, eyelashes, even its stomach contents intact, it was over 40,000 years old, but looked more like it had just lain down for a nap. The species, Aquis lambe, went extinct thousands of years ago, but DNA from these frozen animals are so well preserved sometimes, scientists are seriously considering using it for cloning. The idea is to bring them back, and not just as a curiosity, but possibly to repopulate the tundra with them to help slow permafrost melt. Because right now, it's it's melting faster than ever, and we're seeing more and more pieces of an ecosystem that hasn't seen sunlight in tens of thousands of years, and not everything coming out of the ice is dead. In 2014, scientists digging through 30,000 year old permafrost in Siberia found something that was very much not extinct, a virus, a massive one. So big, you could see it under a regular microscope. They called it Pithovirus Sibericum, and it's part of a terrifying new category, giant viruses. Two words you just don't want to hear right beside each other. Well, this ancient giant virus actually reanimated after being frozen for tens of thousands of years, and more of these ancient viruses have been found since, buried in melting ice, all still capable of waking up and infecting hosts. The one they revived didn't target humans, just amoebas, thankfully. But that's the part that makes researchers nervous. If some ancient virus can survive that long, what else is waiting to thaw? And are we even remotely prepared for it? Because you can quarantine you know, a lion, you can contain a mammoth, but a virus you've never dealt with before? Good luck. In Canada's Yukon Territory, scientists came across bones and fragments of an animal that sounds made up giant ice age camels. Yes, camels in the snow. Kind of a bizarre image. Not the two humped animals we know today, obviously. They were massive and built to survive brutal cold, not scorching heat. They had long legs, thick fat stores, and bones 
tougher than steel. Fossils of these ancient camels were found in gold mines near Dawson City, preserved in permafrost so well, researchers were able to extract collagen from their bones, something that usually doesn't survive past a few thousand years. These camels would have roamed the same icy landscape as mammoths, direwolves, and saber-toothed cats. Some estimates say they stood over nine feet tall. And while they might not look terrifying at first glance, just their sheer size, the power, the fact that they existed in this totally different version of North America, it makes them feel more like monsters than mammals. Scientists still don't completely understand how they adapted to such extreme environments or how they disappeared, but every time the ground thaws a little more, more bones come up, and we're starting to realize just how alien the Ice Age really was. With all that said, I've been your host James, and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Thank you.